everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This um, tutorial is actually a request um, that I had from one of my lovely YouTube um, subscribers. And then I also had probably a total of about six, six or seven across emails and Facebook messages and stuff of the same request. And that was to make a gift box for the photo frames that I have recently, um, my most recent YouTube video. And um, I think it's a great idea. I'm going to be giving these as gifts, so it, um, it helps me out as well. So that's what this tutorial is. So here is the box. This is one of the um, frames that I made. Now I use my brown card craft, so I've continued that with this gift box. You can see on the side it's got, um, this is a one and a quarter inch, and then underneath is one and a half inch. So you've got that quarter inch um, kind of... Um, space there which enables you to open and close it. I've put a belly band around this one and then I've just put a nice little um, kind of um, universal sentiment so it can be used for all kinds of things. Um, so the belly band just slides off and then you just open up the box like so and then what I've done because it's quite a snug fit is I've put some ribbon just around the frame and then basically you can just pull it out um, like so. I mean it's optional, if you're going to wrap some tissue around it and stuff then you probably won't need that but um, that is what I did do for this one here. Um, it's a really nice box, it's really nice and strong so obviously I'm using the craft card but even with standard um, uh, card stock it will work and if you want to make it reinforced if you use them 12 by 12 and you've got the room you'll be able to make this a reinforced box um, as well if you if you know what you're doing there. So but this is just normal and um, I think it's a really nice, really nice box. Finishes this off lovely. So you are going to need, um, grab all the bits that I'm using here. Um, for the sentiment that I used there, the be happy, if you're interested to know, this was from this inexpensive um, stamp set, which was on the, it was free with a magazine. And um, I brought, it was a, it was like last year. So unfortunately you probably can't get it now, but it just shows, you know, these, these free magazine stamps are really good. Um, and I just thought that one was nice. So I used the Be Happy and then I used um, a selection of my stitched framelits and just um, cut those out in corresponding colours to whatever papers you've, you've used. And then I've just done it again there with that one. I think actually I prefer this lighter pink to the darker pink on that one there. But um, there you go. Anyway, um, so that's that one. And then, oh, I haven't cut my paper for the top here. So I'm just going to quickly get that cut. Okay, so I've quickly cut my paper there and that's obviously going to sit on top there. So card sizes you are going to need. Um, a piece of ribbon, just enough to fit around the frame and tie in a bow like I did. Again, that's optional. You might want to, you might not want to do that bit. Um, I'll talk through the belly band that in a second. So first of all, for the lid. So um, I've just marked mine. I mean, mine are, it's the same card, but you might want to do a different colour for the lid to the base. So mark them so that you know what's what. So for the lid, this one comes in at 7 and 13 sixteenths um, by 9 and 13 sixteenths. Now, for anybody who um, is kind of unsure what, what it means when you see 13 sixteenths, 2 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, all those kind of things, basically... Um, just quickly here, so if I just show you the seven, so you've got the seven and then you've got one eighth, and then you've got a quarter, three eighths and so on, every one of those notches. But if you count the piece that comes out here in between the notches, there are, if you count that and the notch, there will be 16 within that one inch, that's seven to the eight. So when you're making, say, a lid to go over another piece of card, you need that kind of half a millimeter um, sorry, half a one eighth of an inch um, kind of um, extra just so it slides over the box. So that's why we use these measurements and you'll find that in most tutorials where there's a lid um, or something that's got to go over the top. So, um, so for example here, so you've got seven and then it would be one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen and then sixteen would be the eight inches. Okay, so when you're lining up your card here, it's got seven, and then basically it's that kind of piece that comes out here, which is just after the seven and three quarters. So it's between the seven and three quarters and the seven and uh, seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so as I said again, this piece is seven and thirteen sixteens by nine and thirteen sixteens, so exactly the same. It's just that piece between the three quarters and the seven eighths. 
Okay, um, so that's the lid, and then for the base, this one's a bit easier for you. So this one is just ten and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then your piece to decorate the top, this one is five by seven and one eighth of an inch. And then the belly band is the whole width width of the UK A4 card. But if it is um, that you're, you're using your um, letter paper, which is 11 inches, that will be fine as well. And you want that to be one inches wide, okay? Because when this sentiment sits on top, center, as long as you've got a sentiment long enough, if yours is only 11 inches, you just need so it's got enough to stick inside at both ends there, okay? Um, right, so let's do some scoring. So I'm going to start with the lid first, because that was the one with that slightly different measurement. So first of all, along the seven and thirteen sixteenths of an inch, you want to score at one and a quarter all the way down. And then you want to pull the card out. So it's just kind of coming, I guess, coming up to that one, uh, one eighth of an inch there. And you should be able to see the bottom of your scoreboard. And then you want to score at six and five eighths of an inch. OK, then rotate it onto the other side and again, score at one and a quarter. Pull out the card again, revealing the same amount, and then you want to score at eight and five eighths of an inch. And by doing that, you should have a one and a quarter side on all four sides there. Okay, and then on the base, this one is just straightforward, so you're just going to score at one and a half along the eight and a quarter inch side, and at six and three quarters. Okay, and then rotate onto the ten and a quarter side and again score at one and a half and uh, eight and three quarters. And again, you should have a one and a half inch side for that one. You don't need to score this belly band because what we do is when it comes to it, all I've done is put it around the box and just pinch the sides. And that way you get a much, much um, easier um, kind of uh, uh, size to it um, rather than scoring it and it find it much easier to do it that way okay so first of all with the lid I'm going to just stick down my piece of um, pattern paper okay, so I'm just yeah. going to stick that within this square and you should have just a nice little border even border on each side like so there we go okay so now we just need to burnish all of those edges um, like I said, this is a request um, tutorial and I've received lots of requests to do different projects. Um, I've been challenged with a few projects, which I'm still thinking up. Um, so don't think for those of you that have requested and thinking, oh, well, she hasn't done what I've requested. The only reason I'm doing this one now is because I've just put up the video for this. So it seems right that they kind of sit side by side. Um, but a lot of the other requests that I've been given um, are going to be featured in, in kind of week series that I do. So I've got Christmas one. I've got um, Halloween. Um, I've got a few other ones which I don't want to say. So some of the requests are going to be featured within those weeks okay um so i will get round i've got a long long list and i promise you i will do them so just keep watching okay so that's all stuck down with the smallest side facing you you just want to cut up to that first score line there and again like so rotate it round again now if you just just kind of notch out as I do on all of mine, like so. Maybe someone's erratically beeping their horn there. Um, and again on this one here, like so. And then come around to the other side. Okay, so I'll just lie that down. You can see there just the amounts that I've taken off. All right, so get that one done. And while we got our scissors out, do the same with this one. So grab your base, and just ooh, just burnish out all of those. Sides. And you want to cut it exactly the same as we did for the lid. Okay, so there's the two sat side by side there, so you can see exactly what we want. I'm just going to quickly rub that out now, so I don't forget. And the person receiving it doesn't turn it upside down and see my measurements. Um, okay, so again, go back to the lid first. You just want to, any glue will do for this really. If you're using craft card, 
one thing I would say is if you're using wet glue it tends to get absorbed very quickly so I find the Pritt stick works well um, if not a strong uh, double sided tape or even the red tape is good with the craft card but if you're using normal card then any glues will do for that. I'm just going to stick it off to the edge here so I don't get it in the centre of my mat. Okay, so then just bring in one of the sides like so and then fold that one up. You just want to make sure, spend some time so you get it all nicely lined up and you get a really nice finish because obviously everyone's going to be able to see this. So you want to get a nice close. And just go around and do that on all four of the lid. corners. So you just want to do exactly the same with the base. So again, I'm just going to glue up these sides. Okay, and again, just fold in each one. Okay, so that's both of them done make sure you give them time. Now I remember actually I made this one a little bit bigger from that one because I just thought um, that if people are making this and they are just slightly out even by a little bit your lid wouldn't close because that is snug. So this one um, you can see there you've got more room for the actual frame. Also the ribbon works because it keeps it down so it does come out. I mean the lid goes over it's fine but you can wrap that now in tissue and everything and then just check and your lid should fit nicely over the top. And you can hear there, you've got a nice, I always say when you can kind of hear and feel the air coming out of it, it's a bit like a suction. Um, and there you go, you've got a really nice box. So now all you need to do is finish it with the belly band. So like I said, grab this piece, mine's already folded, but if you imagine yours is completely flat, what you want to do is put the box over the top and make sure you've got even sides here. So grab your ruler and you just want to make sure you've got the same amount even, um, kind of showing, sorry, on each side. And then bring it up. And bring it round and just kind of loosely pinch it um, don't be really really tight because you want to be able to slide it on and off so just you can see there I've just kind of loosely just kind of folded it around and then you want to make sure that whatever your sentiment is it will it will kind of meet both those ends if you're using 12 by 12 papers then um, card sorry then you won't have this problem of the gap but it doesn't matter so all you want to do then is stick that down so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, Let's just take this away actually and do it without it, on the ends of this, that one and that one, and then sit that back around, all in place. And then kind of keep it all together there, and just stick sentiment in the middle just making sure it's all nicely lined up like so you see you will be spending a lot more time than I have but that can all spend some time setting there and there you go I'll just gently take that off because it is still wet I can just Make sure it's all nicely lined up there. Okay, there you have it. All done. Two really nice gift boxes for the uh, window box or shadow box uh, photo frames that I made. And I will share the link to those videos um, at the end of this video. So if you haven't seen or made the picture frame, you will be able to and make the nice box to go with it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.